Hey friends, today I will explain to you a 2020 to American science fiction and mystery movie called Chariot. The film starts in 1840 when a man unexpectedly coughs up blood from his lungs while chopping wood. In the darkness, he spots a flashing light from a distant building and gets confused. But he does nothing and gets into the house. The attending day, he sees through the monocular telescope that the light is still flashing. A few eternities later, the man passed away, but somehow he is observed by a masked man who wears a modern suit. The scene shiftings to the present day where a young man named Harrison Hardy consults a sleep doctor to solve his recurring weird dream that has been happening for more than 4,000 times. He states that he has undertaken a lot of therapies, but none of them were effective. The doctor offers a treatment that he claims will be very effective to eradicate the recurring dream. Before that, the doctor needs to understand his circumstance and orders him to recount the dream. The dream takes place in the house where Harrison grew up. He runs down the hallway to ask his dad about something, but he always awakens before he can even reach his dad. He adds that he always sees an attic in the dream. But there was no attic in his previous house and he is very sure about this. At some point after the dream was driving him crazy. He even broke the ceiling in actual life to see whether there is an attic or not, but finds nothing. Turns out that he just moved to Lafayette and rents a room in the old building. The woman asks him whether he ever heard about the building online, and his reactions just make her laugh. After the woman leaves, he instantly goes to bed, but is distracted with a painting. He decides to throw it away and goes to sleep. As usual, the fantasy occurs again with the exact same scenario, and he wakes up just before he can see his dad. While doing laundry, he accidentally takes the wrong clothes and a woman named Maria unexpectedly confronts him. Harrison startles for a second and realizes that the woman looks exactly the same as the one he saw in his dream. She starts the conversation, questioning his expectation to move to Lafayette. Maria invites him to her place later if he wants to know more about the place since Harrison has no relatives or friends in the city. Later that night, he comes to the woman's place and is surprised when he sees the painting, which he threw earlier, displayed in her room. She claims that the painting has been in her family for generations. After that, they have dinner jointly where Maria tells him that Lafayette collects unusual people. So she asks Harrison what his identity is. He reveals his dream to the woman. Maria offers him a cigarette, but he refuses politely and goes to the bathroom. Afterwards, the pair go on a brief romantic night and the woman keeps teasing him until they realize that it's already late at night. Before he leaves, Maria tells Harrison that she had a dream once and saw a black horse in the middle of the beach, outside her beach house. She states that she woke up and marched to the window and it turns out that the black horse actually exists. She then invites him to come over the attending night, claiming that she could help him figure out the attic in his dream. The following day, Harrison hears a woman singing from the top of the building and attempts to approach her. Nonetheless, the masked woman sees him and runs away. He then pays a visit to Maria's place again and tells her about the woman on the roof earlier. Maria reveals that her name is Charmaine and she deliberately wears a mask so that people don't fall in love with her as she has a gorgeous face. Not long after, Maria starts to tease him and you know the rest. This time in his dream, Harrison somehow glances up at the red string on the attic, which he has never spotted recently. In the sunrise, Harrison meets a man who recognizes Maria's smell and concludes that he just slept with her. He attends him to his room and enters his room without Harrison's permission. The man randomly shares his life problem to Harrison, who doesn't seem to care about it. He states that he works as a rare turtle's caretaker whose job is to leverage them to breed. He even puts a bed and music in their tank, but none of these efforts are successful. After the man leaves, Harrison returns to the sleep doctor and tells him that the dream altered a little bit after he met Maria. The doctor somehow knows Maria and unexpectedly becomes upset after knowing he slept with Maria. He mentions that the timing of the meeting is not as expected and suggests Harrison should start the hypnotism. 
treatment at the next meeting. While enjoying his time, Maria suddenly comes over to Harrison's room with a camera and tells him about a friend named Rory who is impressed with. She asks for Harrison's help to record her. After the recording session, Maria invites Harrison to her party. As promised, Harrison attends the party and Maria immediately approaches him while expressing her prosperity. She introduces her friends, Lauren and Oliver, to Harrison. He is surprised when Lauren and Oliver turn out to live in the same body. Maria reveals that Lauren shares her body with a 56-year-old Oliver. When Maria leaves to greet other visitors, Harrison tries to talk to the woman with dissociative identity syndrome. He also meets a woman that has two heads within one body. He approaches the dead woman again, but now she has turned into Oliver, who is harsh and a bit crazy. But Harrison enjoys chatting to him. Oliver claims that he had seen him in a photograph shown by a mutual acquaintance, which makes Harrison amazed as he never came to the city previously. On the other side, a man named Rory is confronted by unusual guests who turn out to be the sleep doctor and a guy whose face is covered. The doctor asks Rory to assist him in some stuff, but Rory seems terrified, saying him that he is still experiencing nightmares. The doctor then reveals the other guy who has the same face as Rory. Back to Harrison. This time he manages to pull down the red string in the dream and ascends to the attic. But he wakes up just before he sees what's in the attic. He instantly goes to Maria's place, but she is away at that moment. He then goes to the laundry, only to find the washing machines are out of order. Harrison heads over to the electrical room, but finds nobody there. He returns to the laundry and is stunned when the washing machines are working. Afterwards, Harrison obtains a brief call from Maria, who is begging for help. He calls back and is stunned when the call is answered by Rory's office receptionist. But unexpectedly he hears Maria's distorted voice repeatedly saying help me. Harrison meets the sleep doctor. He informs him that his dream proceeds to expand and he saw old style Polaroid photos in the attic. The doctor appears panicked and asks him whether he looks at the photographs or not. Harrion states that he recognizes several people, but mostly are strangers. The doctor recommends they start the treatment instantly. Before that, Harrison questions the doctor's previous statement about the timing of him meeting Maria, but he refuses to excuse and plays dumb. Subsequently that, the treatment begins. The doctor orders Harrison to close his eyes and gives him a riddle, but unexpectedly the phone rings. He cuts off the wire, but the ringing continues. The doctor somehow refuses to answer the call and Harrison hears Maria's voice again. He instantly runs to her room, finding that the room is completely empty. Meanwhile, two masked men are standing outside the house. Harrison returns to his room and Lauren, but an Oliver state shows up. He asks her about Maria's whereabouts, but she answers harshly. She pulls out a gun and aims it at Harrison while rephrasing the riddle the sleep doctor said just now. Unexpectedly, Lauren intervenes and prevents Oliver from finishing the riddle. Harrison grabs a hammer and bravely goes to Rory's office. Nonetheless, he is interrupted by the guards and gets tied up. Rory claims that she doesn't know Maria. He even says that her acting is bad. Afterwards, Harrison is brought to an abandoned building where the sleep doctor has been waiting for him. He is taken to a room, and the doctor eventually finishes the riddle. The doctor wears a mask and puts Harrison to sleep. In his dream, Harrison gets into the attic and discovers the doctor there. He reveals that the system is almost perfect, but there was a rare glitch after Harrison's encounter with Maria who turns out to be Harrison's lover in his prior life and the doctor has to clean everything up. Thus, he burns all the photographs. The scene moves to a couple who drive over to their friend's house to have dinner together. Nonetheless, as soon as they arrive, the woman is startled when she sees another woman upstairs. And the end. If you are a lover of similar content like this, take a look at my various videos and if you love it, please burst the like button and Make sure you subscribe to the channel and smash the notification horn. Take sight of you in the next video.